Okay, we're setting off this early morning from uh, Saltkobaden, Stockholm to Jönköping. And we got 335 kilometers. We will have 357 kilometers. So we need to tap up somewhere along the road. Yes, we wanted to charge before we got to that custom motor show. So this was not intended to be a range test. We wanted to see how convenient or inconvenient it would be to charge. Especially with this new battery from Webasto that ought to provide higher values of charging figures when preheated. Three of us in the car and we were running on winter tires. Okay, we're rolling out of Stockholm right now and we've set the uh, destination to uh, Ionity in Grenna. And we'll see if the battery will be, uh, you know, warmed up before it's supposed to charge. It's supposed to charge faster when, uh, when it's set on a uh, charging destination. Okay, so we are uh, traveling at 110 kilometers an hour. We've been driving for 50 minutes, 51 minutes, and we have an average consumption of 20 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So, um, yeah. It feels very comfortable. The car is quiet. All of us think that it's very quiet. We got the climate control set on only driver, 21 and a half degrees. Uh, yeah, and it's it's not that cold. Okay, so we need to tap up a little here. Uh, I think we got 70 kilometers left, uh, so we need to charge it here. So this is a 350 kilowatt hour station, but this can only take 72 kilowatt. It has been pre-warmed, I think. I just went into the uh, app here, the Ionity app, just uh, QR scanned this one and uh, now it's charging or it's communicating with the uh, car. You know, when these stations work, then it's good. And when you get some power from them as well, then it's not that big of a hassle. Okay, so it's start charging here and we got 47 kilowatts uh, effect right now. And uh, that's not so much. Well, the car only takes 72 kilowatt at its maximum level. So uh, it says one hour and 38 minutes to get to 100. But we, we won't need that much. We will tap up when we're going back home again. It preconditioned the battery. Um, but um, yeah, I thought it was going to be a bit stronger. But I think that the curve will change and uh, it will be stronger in a couple of minutes. So let's just, uh, let's just wait. So what are we getting here right now? 56 kilowatt is the power that is transferred to the car right now. Uh -huh. so this counts from 20% uh, up to 80%. It should take about 40 minutes. So not the fastest car to charge. And it hasn't got close to 70 kilowatts either, which you would like. So you just need to take a cup of coffee and uh, relax and uh, hope that the uh, kilowatt hours can bump up a little, but they haven't. I think that's strange because the preconditioning of the battery was done like 10 minutes before we got here. Strange. This takes some time. You need at least those plus 100 kilowatts to charge your car a bit quicker if you want to make a quick fill up, which we are doing when we're going down to Custom Motor Show. But Patience. Okay, so through this app you can see your charging status. And we've been sitting here now for almost 20 minutes. And we got 28.3 kilowatt hours, 64%. Okay, so we've been charging here for like, yeah, 70 minutes now. And uh, we had 14, 13% battery charge when we uh, came in here and now we're up at 93 so 80 percent took us 70 minutes approx and up to 80 percent it was rather strong for what it could do 64 kilowatts in charge and at one time it was about 70 but uh well this is not a fast charging car, so it takes some time. It took some time. Although it reached 64 kilowatts at some point and held it there for a while. And you shouldn't push it more than 80% because after that it always drops heavily. The Ionity station worked without problem. Just did the QR scanning and then we could just plug it in and charge. 
The Nero EV is a splendid car for its size when going on some longer journeys. Quiet and relaxed to drive, even at higher speeds. But speed is also a killer, which we noted when we were on our way home. So you need to adapt and plan a little more when driving an EV on longer trips. But that is also some of the exciting part of it. But for me, the Kiro Nero would be perfect if it could take at least 100 kilowatts at a DC. 